All right, welcome back to the channel. My name's Peter. I'm a qualified financial advisor and qualified mortgage advisor. And my role here on YouTube is to basically help people make better financial decisions, particularly in times like now where over the past week, we've heard a lot about interest rates potentially getting to about 6% this time next year because of the mini budget which i promise i'm not going to reference too much in this video but with that being said though there are about two million people in the uk at the moment who are currently in fixed rate mortgages who are asking the question well should i just pay my early repayment charge and ditch my current fixed rate for a fixed rate where i know what my payments are going to be and not leave myself open potentially to interest rates being six percent by the time their fixed rate officially comes to an end. I'm actually one of those people. My fixed rate mortgage ends in November 23. So this is something that I'm looking at right now. This video is gonna give you lots of things to think about, things that you need to consider first and foremost before you just jump and say, I'm gonna pay the early repayment charge and hopefully give you some food for thought. So grab a pen and a pad, lots of stuff to get through. Okay, so look, if you're like me, the first thing you need to do is understand and get a number around your early repayment charge. For those of you who don't know, an early repayment charge is a charge that the mortgage providers will charge you because you are exiting your fixed rate early. Now, how this typically works is, so for me, I was fixed for five years in my last deal coming to an end in November. And it's kind of a sliding scale typically. The closer you get to the end of your fixed rate term, the cheaper or the smaller your early repayment charge is going to be. Now lenders do this because ultimately when you take out a mortgage with them and they lend you the money for your mortgage, they have already costed in what profits they're going to get by lending you that money via the mortgage, right? So if you exit a fixed term early, essentially the charge is there to cover whatever potential profits they may lose out on. I understand it from a business point of view, but I know that for a lot of people, it's extremely annoying. Um, people have talked about getting it abolished, but I don't think that will happen. What do you think? Do you think they should abolish early repayment charges? Let me know in the comments. But the first thing you need to know is what your early repayment charge is. Now, obviously, if you have a large early repayment charge, you have to bear that in mind with some of the other things that I'm going to be talking about a bit later on. But for me, having checked with my mortgage provider, my early repayment charge is just over £2,300. So early repayment charge, step one. Step two is essentially to try and get an idea of what your mortgage rates are currently. I mean, in the on the open market, right? So this past week, We've heard news that there have been hundreds, well, actually over 1,600 fixed rate deals pulled from the market. There's still about a 1,000 or so left. And the reason for that is because there's so much uncertainty around what the interest rate is going to be next year off the back of the mini budget, which I said we wouldn't actually go into and we're not going to go into. But what it's done is introduce a lot of uncertainty. The banks and the providers are unable to guess or at least best guess what the rates are going to be in 12 months time to set the interest rates for the fixed rate mortgages now. And so with all of this uncertainty, they've basically pulled a lot of them off the market. I did do a bit of a recce earlier on based on my circumstances to find out what the best rate for me at this point in time would be on the markets. And this is what I have found just by doing a very quick cursory search. So this right here is a, a, a search of my criteria right now. And looking at a five year fixed rate mortgage, I'm just gonna refresh this. The best rate that I can find right now is with Lloyd's at 3.73%. That number is going to be really, really important as we continue in this conversation because this rate right here is an important rate. You want to use this rate to kind of gauge whether or not it is worthwhile you paying the early repayment charge. So what you're essentially doing here and what I'm looking at here is I'm comparing what the new monthly mortgage payment would be at this higher rate because I'm currently fixed at 1.49 what my new monthly payment is going to be on this rate of 3.73. So let's just say, for example, I'm paying 500 pounds right now, just over 500 pounds. I know that if I 
were to pay my early repayment charge now and get onto this fixed rate of 3.73, I'm going to see an increase of £115 per month in my mortgage payments. Now, doing rough numbers times that by 12, that means over the course of the year, if I were to take out this mortgage, pay my early repayment charge, my monthly payments across the year will increase by 1380 Bearing in mind that this is a five-year fixed rate, I would then times that by five, meaning that I'll be paying in it, well, just well, around about £6,900 if I go from my fixed deal right now at 1.49 into this one at 3.73. Okay. This is the calculation and the comparison that you will also need to make. Now, really what you're looking for here is if I pay my early repayment charge of 2,300, am I making enough savings by moving to a new rate, a higher rate, albeit by paying that early repayment charge? You can't really tell at this stage, but what you also need to do is to perhaps take a little bit of speculation around where we think interest rates might go. Now, bearing in mind, this was a five-year fixed rate that I showed you here. We don't know what interest rates are going to be in 12 months. So a lot of this is going to be guesswork. If interest rates do get to 6%, we also don't know for certain what the mortgage rates are going to be associated with that. But what we can do with this kind of calculator here is have a look at a 10-year fixed rate because when the lenders are setting their mortgage rates, they're trying to factor in where they think interest rates are going to be. So although this isn't going to be 100% foolproof and bulletproof right now, this might give you a good indication of what rates might be like if they were to get to five, six, seven percent. So if I just refresh this, so bear in mind this is a 10-year fixed rate and not a five-year fixed rate right now, the best deal currently on the market is 5.34%. Okay. So remember on a five-year fixed rate, it was 3.73. This one is at 5.34. Now when I last uh, looked at the, comparing the numbers over the five year term, if I went for a five year fixed rate, I knew that I would be paying 6,900 across the five years in additional monthly payments. What does it look like here? Well, if I'm paying 500 quid for my mortgage currently, this will mean that actually at a rate of 5.34%, my monthly payments are going to go up to 725 pounds. So that's 225 pounds extra per month which means that on a yearly basis, it's £2,700 extra I'll be paying. You times that by five, because we're going to assume that this is what the rate would be if I would have fixed for five years. And that will mean that actually this particular one, if it was available under a five-year rate, assuming interest rates got to five, six percent in 12 months time, would cost me £13,500. Now, this is where a lot of guesswork and assumptive work essentially comes in. And this is where I guess you have to try and make the best decision for you. So the way I would view this is my early repayment charge is 2,300. If I were to leave, if I were to pay that, get out of my fixed rate currently and get into a fixed deal that I can access right now at 7.37, it's going to cost me an additional 6,900 pounds, okay? So... The comparison, yes, I'm going to be paying more over the next five years, but when it comes to the bigger picture, and again, this is guesswork, if rates did get up to 5 6% and I, I accessed a mortgage at 5.34%, then actually, if I were to move over, my payments would increase by £225 per month, which over a five-year, if I fixed for five years, would cost £13,500. Now, all of a sudden, paying £2,300 in an early repayment charge doesn't seem too bad. These are the considerations and the comparisons that you would need to make. It isn't foolproof because, again, we don't know whether interest rates are going to get to 6%. But one thing is for sure, interest rates are going to go up. So for a lot of people who are in kind of a similar situation to me right now, Paying that early repayment charge may make sense. For me, looking at the numbers, it makes sense for me, and it's probably what I am going to do. 
Um, but you've got to remember the benefit that you're going to get from a fixed rate mortgage. A fixed rate mortgage essentially just allows you to know what your mortgage payments are going to be. It's a great place to be able to budget from. So you know what your, your monthly cost base is going to be with a, with a relative cer- amount of certainty. There are 2 million households still on standard variable rates or tracker mortgages, which means that when the bank rate goes up, they will have seen their interest rate, their mortgage payment also go up as well. And that's okay if you're flush with cash, but most people aren't flush with cash and like to work from a from a solid base. And a fixed rate mortgage allows you to do that. The last thing that I'll probably say, and this is the biggest thing that I want to share with you guys, because I think it's really, really important that you make an informed decision. There is a lot, there is a lot that goes in the background to making this kind of decision. So if you need help, the best thing you could do is consult uh, an independent mortgage advisor and let them walk you through all of the options or contact your mor- mortgage provider and get them to walk you through all of the options so you can actually have a look at it from a practical point of view. Does it make sense for you to pay the, uh, pay the early repayment charge? For me, looking at the numbers, I think it does. I think it's something that I am going to go for because I personally don't want to run the risk of if things really go bad and interest rates do have to rise because inflation is just uncontrollable and in you know interest rates do get to six five six percent i don't really want my mortgage payment to get into you know a thousand pounds twelve hundred pounds and that's the reality that a lot of people are going to face so you've got to make the decision that is best for you but please seek some advice this information is for information and educational purposes only speak to your provider speak to a qualified mortgage advisor as well i hope you found this useful let me know if you're in the same boat as me let me know what you would do would you pay the early repayment charge and fix now for a little bit of certainty i'd love to know what you guys think and if i'm alone in my thinking or not but thank you so much for watching catch you later on